So I just watched the 2016 horror movie kind of uh, called Brimstone. And I mainly want to explain why I feel that it is a really good example for a really bad movie. You know, I, I, I don't even want to talk about this movie specifically. I, I just want to use it uh, to show you um, a, a typical example uh, for, for a bad horror movie. Because that's basically what it is, you know. It, it, you know, some people or itself actually, you know, the movie itself actually claims to be uh, n not a horror movie. You know, kind of, you know, it, it you know, it's it's kind of categorized as a, uh, a, a as a western mystery thriller something, uh, but it's really not. It's 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 really a horror movie. It, you know. And, and maybe they felt like, oh yeah, if we don't call it a horror movie, uh, then we can shock people even more. Because that's basically all they, the movie does is, is shock people, you know. You know, there are some people who like those kinds of horror movies, you know, that just, you know, shock you, that don't have much of a plot, or at least not a plot that necessarily makes any sense. Uh, or is coherent, you know, they don't care about a coherent plot, they just, you know, they just want to be shocked. And if you like those kinds of movies, then by all means, you're going to love this movie, you know. Um, as for myself, I, I do like horror movies. I, I love horror movies, but not those kinds of horror movies. I, I like the kinds of horror movies, you know, that do have a plot that makes sense. And I, I actually like the horror movies, you know, like from the 50s, you know, be, because back then they had uh, like, what what is it called? Uh, like, uh, but they basically had that in every country. In America, it was called, was it in America? Or was it in Britain? It doesn't matter. It was called the Hays Code or something. You know, anyway, they had that, that television code uh, uh, or movie code, you know, so movies had to adhere to a certain code. Um, and a lot of people don't like that. Uh, but I think when it comes to horror movies, that's a good thing, you know, because um, it, it it stopped filmmakers from just portraying senseless violence, you know, and, 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 and from just uh, uh, having villains that are just, you know, that are just evil for, for no reason, you know, because that doesn't make sense, you know. So, for example, before there was that code, you had that, like, just, just you know, uh, as another example, uh, uh, out, of the, out of the top of my head, um, there was, like, this movie by Dali, that, and, and, and the entire movie basically, you know, uh, it, it had no blood. Uh, the, uh, the entire movie basically just consisted of... Um, of, of, of a woman getting her eye cut out, you know, and there was no plot, you know, <laughs> and uh, so uh, it eliminated those kinds of movies, which I think is a good thing, you know, of course, people say, well, well, you know, especially if it's a movie by Dali, they, they defend it and say, well, it's, it's artistic. I don't know what's so artistic about a woman getting her eye cut out, out you know, it, it, it's, I don't think that's really, you know, and you really see it uh, uh, very detailed. And, and I don't think there's anything artistic about that. I don't get it. So I don't I don't like those kinds of horror movies that just have senseless violence where, uh, and, and that have no plot or that uh, have just a paper thin plot where, you know, where, where, the, where the plot just serves uh, uh, to show the violence. Um, I, I think it's okay for a horror movie to to have violence as long as it's the other way around, you know, as 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 long as as the violence is necessary for the plot, and and not the the plot was made up just so as to as to show the violence. I don't, yeah, you know, you know, because what ends up happening is um, when when you when you just you know show violence for the sake of showing violence. What, what ends up happening is that you you 
those kinds of movies tend to, and and that's definitely the case with Frimstone. The, uh, those kinds of movies tend to create villains that are are just evil, you know, uh, and and just evil for the sake of being evil. You know, they have no other motivation. You know, they just, you know, the kind of people who wake up in the morning, look into the mirror and say, "Ha, oh, I look evil today. <laughs> What evil things can I do today? Ah, oh, I know. I, 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 I kill some innocent women for no reason and rape them and, uh, oh, well, okay, that that would be the wrong order. But you know that." Brimstone doesn't even care for that order, you know. Of course, you can't kill them and then rape them and then have children with them. That doesn't really work. But Brimstone doesn't even care for that order. Anyway, he kills them, he rapes them, then he has children with them, and then he kills the children again or rapes them. Or, well, you know, I, I, I get confused about the order in which things are happening. But I, I think that's basically the order in which things are happening. It doesn't even make any sense. But you know. Uh, <laughs> But the bottom line is, yes, there are evil people, but no, there are no evil people like that, because you know, even evil people have some kind of motivation, and even their motivation goes beyond, ha ha, what evil can I do today? No one is like that. That's not, that's not, you know, that's a completely fictional villain. Such a villain doesn't exist. Not even Hitler、uh, woke up in the morning. Looked into the mirror and said, "Oh, I look evil today. Ah, what evil can I do? Oh, I know. Let's gas some shoes. You know, it's not like that. Even he、uh, had, you know, of course he did evil things, but、um, even really evil people who did really evil things had some kind of motivation to do those things, and and even those motivations went beyond." Uh, you know, just just doing evil for the sake of doing evil. The only reason they're doing evil for the sake of doing evil in those movies is because the movie wants to show violence for the sake of showing violence. So you know, you end up with those kind of stupid villains that don't exist in the real world, that that just do evil for the sake of doing evil with no sense or purpose. You know. And I hate those kinds of movies because it's a terrible thing. You know, it's a terrible thing to take away from the movie. Because of course, typically,、uh, um, you know, uh, 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 of course, those kinds of villains, those kinds of fictional villains, you know, that are just uber evil. You know, that just do evil for the purpose of doing evil. They even in the movies, of course, they tend to belong to some group. You know, typically they are Nazis. You know. Uh, you know that's why I gave you the example of Hitler. But even, of course, Nazis are evil. But、um, even with Nazis, it's it's not like that. You know,、um, even Nazis didn't want to do evil. I mean, of course, they did evil, but they didn't want to. You know why they did evil? It's because、uh, they have basically been brainwashed. You know, they have basically been exactly by those kinds of movies. You know. Because you know uh, 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 that's actually exactly the kind of movies the Third Reich made. You know that demonized and vilified Jews. You know, of course,、uh, in every group of people you have some some good people and you have some bad people. But there isn't a single group of people that only consists of bad people. You know, not even Nazis are necessarily bad people. Of course, like I said, they did evil things. Of course, you know. Uh, they did evil things,、uh, but originally those people were not necessarily bad people. They only became bad people because they fell for that kind of propaganda. Because they started thinking, "Oh yeah, all Jews are evil," but that's not the case. You know, not all Jews are evil. You know, they, 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 if there are some evil Jews, again, it's it's because uh, um, and and of course there are some. You know, some bad people. But every time there are bad people, it's because they've fallen for this kind of propaganda. It's because they started thinking, "Oh yeah, we're superior." And you have those those kind of people among Jews as well, but they're very few.、Uh, but there are some people like that. You know, they think, "Oh yeah, we Jews, we su- we we are superior." You know, and we're better than the Muslims or whatever. And then they, you know, and then that's the way they 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 justify Muslims.、Uh, they justify violence against the Muslims. And 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 the Muslims basically use the same justification. They think, "Oh yeah." Yeah, we're we're the chosen people. We're better than the Jews, and the Jews are evil, you know. And、uh, <laughs> so that's how you get bad people.、Um, 
you know, bad people, uh, they don't think that they're doing bad thing. They think they're doing a good thing, you know. Uh, even when they committing genocide, they think, uh, they, they don't think of it as, 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 as a horrible atrocity, which it is. They, they think of it as a, as a good thing because they think they're eliminating bad people. And, and that's the crux of the matter. Those kinds of movies, like, I, I, including Brimstone and and of course all the Nazi propaganda, uh, <laughs> they they had they, they just had those kinds of villains that are just evil for the for the sake of being evil, you know. But no one is like that, um, and it kind of you know. Uh, for example, I, I can imagine some uh, some women, of course, including my mother. Uh, my mother was like that. She would have loved that movie, you know, uh, <laughs> because because she would have used that uh, movie as an example to show, you know, Brimstone. You know, uh, she used she would have used this as an example to show how 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 evil men are. She she would turn it have turned it around and said, look, this is a great movie. This is a historic movie. I mean, it's completely fiction, but she would she would say, this is a historic movie. This is historic evidence that men have always oppressed poor, innocent women, that men are evil, you know. And uh, because she believed that, uh, because she thought men are inherently evil, it made it possible for her uh, to sexually abuse her five-year-old uh, boy, me, okay? <laughs> so, uh, my point is that when people believe that, when people believe that one group of, of uh, people are evil, it allows them to do terrible things. And that's not, you know, that's not the case. It, n no one, you know, uh, uh, Brimstone kind of makes it look like, uh, because it's the villain is so flat, it makes it look like, uh, you know, he's doing evil simply because he's a man, but that's not the case, you know. Like I said, I was I was sexually abused by my mother, but I don't think she did that because she was a woman, you know. <laughs> you know, uh, that's not the true motivation. And Nazis didn't do evil because they were Nazis, you know. And every time somebody does evil. Uh, it's mostly because they think that the other person is evil and that's mostly the case because the other person has been slandered in that way because uh, they watched some propaganda movie you know that that had a really thin plot and a really flat villain who was just evil for the sake of being evil even though such a person doesn't exist and and they saw you know, and, and, and they were just stupid and thought that, you know, uh, all men are actually like that. You know, that maybe all men are like uh, the rapist in Brimstone. You know, there are some stupid people who who, who believe that. Or maybe, you know, uh, they have been victimized themselves. Maybe, you know, of course, there are women who get raped by men. And, um, of course, there are some women who, who you know... And my mother was like that. My mother was herself sexually abused. And of course she was sexually abused by men. And then she watched movies like that. I mean, of course, Brimstone wasn't out back then. But then she watched, you know, watched movies similar to Brimstone. And, and she came to the conclusion that, oh yeah, all men must be evil. And once she, has, she had come to that conclusion, it was possible uh, for her to do evil herself. So uh, anyway, that's why I hate those kinds of movies. Because... They actually inspire violence in the audience, you know, not in not in every person who watches them, of course, but in some messed up people who watch those movies, it, it, they actually inspire violence. Um, whereas a good horror movie um, that that actually you know that actually tells things how they are uh, uh, and and has um, realistic villains. Um, such a movie uh, does not inspire violence. You know, if a horror movie is done right, if a horror movie is really realistic and really portrays the, the human psyche realistically and, and shows what what causes people to do evil, then it will not inspire evil in people. On the, uh, quite the opposite, you know, it, it, will, it, it, it will show people the consequences of doing evil. 